Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn where we are playing a modded series. Now if you want to check what mods I've got, look in the description below. They're all listed there. Maybe I should put up a video on how to install the mods. Hmm. It's easy enough, you can see it on Discord, uh, the Timberborn Discord, which should be linked down below as well. But if you do, let me know. I'll make a quick one minute video on how to install and upload mods. Anywho. What did we do in the last episode? In the last episode, we built scrap metal production. We finally got scrap metal coming in. I now have over a thousand scrap metal. Lovely. I love to see these numbers. I love to see these numbers. Now in this episode, what we need to do, we need to build out this town. We need to make it into a metal district. We're going to start having a decent metal production. We've got three scrap metal uh, mines. I don't know if we're going to have enough production for free to run them efficiently, but we may build up as we go along. But for now, we need to build up this town and we need to start making metal because I finally <laughs> want to get this thing built up, which needs metal for these bits. So it needs six blocks each. And I've got a lot of these. And these things, these little, the bell tower, the statue and all that jazz. So there's a lot we need to do. Now, I realized in the last episode, I was saying that it kept on overflowing and I realized why. Because there's only one water source here and I thought they were free. But the other two things next to it were actually these debris or the barriers as they're called. So that was making it overflow. So first order of action is to, I was going to say to delete this, but, but we may build this up and make the whole town in this little square. And then obviously the trees and the farming can be outside. That may be a plan. But let's get some metal production going. So I'm going to make this whole line. The first thing we're going to do is make this whole line a uh, a power line. So we're going to have loads of power wheels down here. And we're going to have some scrap metal production and some metal production. I want to say scrap metal. I meant treated planks because we need that to make scrap metal and all that jazz. So let's get on with that. So first we need to do, we need to get some levies. Let's get that all the way like that. We're going to keep the line going and it's going to go all the way to here and it should flow out here. Hopefully it doesn't create enough back pressure that it overflows onto the land here. Then we need some power. So let's get, oh, I'm going to need to put blocks there, you know. Okay, cool. That's not too bad. All right, so how big is it? It's like four spaces, right? So one, two, three, four, one there, one, two, three, four, and one there. Hopefully that can all fit. Got one, two, ah, look at that. Look at that. And then all we need to do is do this number like that, like that, like that. We need to delete this actually and put this like so. And then we can just go all the way across and then this. And hopefully that gives us a fair amount of power. I could even extend it out here. But we'll see how much power this gives to us. And with that done, we now have five power wheels to power our little mini district. So I've been doing the calculations. It's in the drought now, so I can't actually see. It's just got completed. But I think they go between 340 to 360 per wheel. So I'm going to round it to a sort of av average of 350 per wheel. If we've got 350 and we've got five wheels. That is about 1,300, no, 1,750 power. My maths might be a little bit wrong, but we got around, let's, say, let's just put it as 1,500 and then we'll have some spare. Okay, just to round it out, just to make it a little bit easier. Now, we're gonna make a metal production here, but we also need to check, because this is the only place we are making treated planks, right? So looking at this, I want to run all three of these. 
if I run all three of these with four beavers, it's going to be making three scrap metal every 4.5 hours in beaver time. Now that would need one plank, one tree plank every 4.5 hours. If we do that with all three, that means we'll need three planks every 4.5 hours, right? Now these, assuming power is perfect and efficiency is pretty good, we will have haulers, so they will help. This produces one plank every three hours. So if we try and get this number to equal this number, we have to times this by two. So this will equal nine hours. So every nine hours we'll have six scrap metal and we need two planks, right? So that means every nine hours we would need six planks to deal with this. If we do this, every nine hours we'll be making three planks with just one of them. Now that we have two, there'll be six planks every nine hours. So technically what I'm trying to say <laughs> to make it easier is two of these can run three of these as long as we keep it with four beavers. And assuming everything's efficient sort of thing, like the delivery of materials and stuff like that, two of these should be able to run three of these at four beavers quite nicely. We won't have any uh, sort of surplus, so we won't be making more, but it should be good. It should be good. If we do need to adjust it, we could go down by one and that'll bring up the time and then we'll start making more planks than we are using, which is fine. But so this is fine for now. So assuming that we've got these two to run these four, let's start actually making a proper area for this. So we are going to put metal workshops here as well, but we do want to get these two treated planks in here. Now I do want to keep the uh, treated plank area close to this because this is where all the pine resin is and trees. So where are you? Here we go. So I was thinking maybe something like this. Hmm. But this doesn't fit nicely. We could pull it. Yeah. We Mm, we could put it there. They could fit quite nicely like this. So if we make a line of production, I think that's pretty decent. It's just that I don't want to waste this space. And it seems like this space has been wasted a little bit. Hmm. I could always just use this area as a... Just put some statues there or something like that or we could continue it like this but again it's just an awkward location is there another way I could get power across because if we deleted this we could get quite a lot if we deleted this power shaft here, we could get a nice little line going. Let's delete this. So maybe I could get the power coming from here, down, up and into the buildings from here. Let's delete this. Let's pause it so they don't start building and let's take a look. So if we do something like that. That's the two to run this. Now we need to see, so with this uh, area, we'll be producing nine scrap metal per 4.5 hours. Okay. So now we need to check the metal production. If we take a look at this, oh, it doesn't say. Ah, it doesn't say. It says here. So this will need two scrap metal Logs is negligible, like we don't need to worry about that. Um, the two scrap metal every four hours to make one uh, block. We're making nine every 4.5 hours. So this will go a little bit faster. So we need to use around, around nine, maybe eight. So if we do four of these,
that is five. My maths is bad. The video for these will be using. Oops, is it loading? There we go. We'll be using eight scrap metal every four hours. I think that should be good enough because we'll be making nine every 4.5 hours. I could just put the extra because if we run out of scrap metal, it's still getting produced. We don't need to produce it that efficiently. How much power is this going to take? 800 and 1,350 altogether. So that's a decent amount of power as well. That is a decent amount of power. It also means it's smaller than I expected, so we can actually put it more down here and put some storage around here. Or we could put the storage down here and leave this here. The reason why I might move this because food we do have to think about the food production. Hmm. Hmm. Questions, questions, questions. Okay, we're going to leave it here and we're going to put... We're going to put storage down here. Yep, I'm, I'm happy with that. So that means we can actually just do something like this with the power. And put that like that. And just put it in there. Lovely. And then we can bring this pathway all the way down here. And we can start planning out storage. So I'm going to unpause it so they can start building that. So we need quite a lot of storage, right? I do want another storage here. So I want loads of scrap metal. Let's put that there. Let's bung that like that. Let's allow none, none, and then go to scrap metal and allow that. Cool, that's fine. So here we're gonna put a storage for metal and treated planks. Something like that. Now, do I wanna hold a lot more metal? I could hold about 2,000 metal because at some point we're not going to need it and it's going to build up and at least we have a lot ready. So again, we're going to put allowed none. We're going to still desire it. And this is going to be the treated planks. There we go. We'll put it to 1,000. And then with this one, we will allow none desire. Actually, I do want to desire some for this. And this will be metal blocks. There we go. That'll be 1000 again. And the last one, it would be none for both because if you don't, if you only have, if you have both have been desired, they will go back and forth trying to fill the, the, the storages and it's just a waste of time. <laughs> they run around the circle, they get in a little loop and we don't want that. So we'll do that. Then we can get some decorations in here. Maybe some bushes like that. And like that, we'll put some more decorations around. But first, let's think about the other stuff. So now we've got a decent production going. We're going to need to um, think about what we're going to do here. Now, I kind of want to build this up and make a town in this area by moving the district center into here and building up on the levels, building houses and a breeding area. So in order to build it up, we're going to need to start building some sort of platform system here. Now, how are these going on? They're getting on just fine. Okay, we just need to build everything before they get power to, but that's fine. So how are we going to build over these? This is the problem. How high do we need to build? To get over them. I would say that looks fine, but the problem is the biggest one of these does not reach all the way to the other side. Because these are 
what are they, six long? So we can't use the actual archways. If we were to use this, this might be a little bit better. And you'd get a small gap in between. Did we use this? Most of you not. So let's pause it again so they don't build this. Not that they've got metal to build this. Let's just take a look at doing something like this. So we could even do that. We'd mostly make it a little bit smaller to be honest with you. So does a one work? Is that a thing? Oh wow. Wait, do I even need to build a one? Okay, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, <laughs> I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I've got ideas. So, with that in mind, that means I'm gonna see you in a couple of seconds when I come up with a, a crazy design. You know what Okay, do you want to see what I have come up with? Are you ready? Are you ready? Now, there still needs to be a few changes, but I'll get to that. But this is essentially what we're going to be playing with. Doesn't that look pretty amazing? We've got the water coming off here. We've got the metal or scrap metal production under here. We've got a little um, church here. Now, I saw someone make a little church on Reddit. Now, I wanted to find it, but I didn't have enough time and replicate it because it looks pretty awesome. But I tried to replicate something from memory. So I will try and find it and sort of credit the person that made it and maybe even throw in a picture of what it actually looks like. The person that made it, what they made. They look pretty cool. This is a take on that, I guess. I don't think it's the same. I'm, I was just trying to do it from memory, so I'm not sure if it's the same, it's the same but I think it looks pretty cool. We've got loads of shrines there and they can uh, worship their gods. We've got a nice little uh, rooftop terraces over here. And at the back here is where the stairs are to go down. Now, depending on how far this district can reach, because we need to get all the way down here, right? If you can't reach down there, then one change we will do is we'll put another staircase down here. So it's gonna replicate the one at the back. And that way we can reach down here. We also need to add more levees around here to let the water rise higher. But I'm not going to do that until I finish uh, sort of getting all these resources and all that jazz because we need to close it off and we need to make a stairway. But until we do that, we need to get all these resources going. We need to get metal production because this is going to take one hell of a lot of metal. But it looks absolutely amazing. Now it's going to hold 32 beavers, I believe. Eight times four. 34 beavers. Uh, yeah, 34 beavers. That's one. So that's, I think that's more than enough. I think that's more than enough. We've got two pods here. If you're having carrots, it should be able to hold around 16 beavers or produce 16 beavers regularly or on average. So two of them should hit about 32. So we should have more houses than we do beavers, but you never know. Calculations may be wrong. You also need to move a, the wood storage. Most of we're gonna make a little wood storage area here above the lake. And we need to turn this bit into a distribution area. So we're gonna get a distribution post so they can send metal to the other places and all that jazz. Now this is done. Oh, and the power actually hit 1,700. So that's amazing. So we gotta just wait for that to be done. Now I'm hoping I can get all of this done within the time limit but as you can imagine that is going to take a lot of metal i've got decent metal production going i'm going to have scrap metal going in a sec but we've got quite a lot so we should be able to get most of it done but we'll see so guys i will see you in a sec and we'll take a look at this marvelous place and just like that we now have our beautiful beautiful uh, what are we going to call it? Oh, you hear the bell. You hear the bell. That means working time is done. Uh, what are we going to call this town? I would say for now, 
Iron Town. You know, I'm not good with names. I'm not good with names. So if you've got a name for this town or this district, leave it in the comments below and we will most put it there. So, oh, that took a long time. <laughs> that took a long time, but it looks so beautiful. Look at this bad boy. Now, I, I really love the poles coming up here to get the water. We've got bells ringing. We've got a little church here. We've got a nice little relaxation area. And we've got our staircase back here. Now, all I need to do is delete this district and they should all go there. So let's do that. Let's get that done. We delete that. They should all be there. We should bang that in there. And we can put that back to four workers. Now we can see how far. Ooh, look at that. So they can't actually reach this. Which I kind of was expecting, to be honest with you. I kind of was expecting that. So we're going to have to put a staircase down here. Hmm. Yeah, but that's going to be in the next episode because unfortunately that is all I have time for today. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.